every time I catch my spawn, this kid jumps. Head up on my body, put him in the sky, it won't even win this uh, Send that nigga to the dental uh, for thinking that nigga's pretending I got 52 shots in his back with an infrared up on the upper feet let off Straight Subi on the top, that don't take on it Hey, what is up guys, it's your boy, the <laughs> summer two, and back with another video And World of Magic is finally out, boys I played this game two months ago when they released the beta uh, For two days, I believe Correct me if I'm wrong, if it released two months ago, I think it released two months ago If I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below but yeah, with that being said, boys, I played this game two months ago when the beta released. And as you can see, your boy's already level 34. Max level at that time was 40. I heard that the new max level is 40. Bruh. On today's video, guys, I'm going to be making a beginner's guide for, for beginners, boys. Because a lot of people, a lot of people are new to this game. And they missed out the uh, beta or the testing phase, whatever you want to call it, on this game that came out two months ago. So this game came out two months ago and it was out for two days for the public and i happened to play it as you can see i'm already level 34 at the time max level was 40 but yeah it was out for two days and i played it and a lot of people that are playing the game at the moment didn't play the testing phase so they're hella confused and they don't know what to do and that's where your boy comes in that's where i come in boys i'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about this game but before i hop on a new account and start providing information for beginners I want to hop on the trailer for the game, all right, and show you how much content this game has and what you're walking into if you're going to end up playing this game, all right? With that being said, let's hop on the trailer. All right, we're on the trailer, boys. So check it out. Most of this stuff is already in the game, and the trailer is just like about the game. It tells you what stage the game is in, what's in the game, and yeah, all that good stuff, bros. So so make sure you guys, um, you know, if you're interested about this game and want to see what, what you're going to be able to get or what you could get, then check out the trailer boys i'm not gonna be checking out every tab and reading what's in the tab but i'm gonna be reading you or showing you guys what these tabs have to give you uh, a quick glimpse or idea of what the game's gonna be about what the game's gonna consist of so you can have enchantments clashing rates you can have magic tiers magic types normal skill types maker skill types dragon god slash demon skill types wow bruh golds Oh, gold. So for, for those of you who, who don't know what gold is, it's basically a coup. You know, another word for coup. That's pretty cool, bro. Towns, um, stat that can be affected by armor slash items, book ideas, lost spell type ideas, weapons slash armor slash item ideas. So there's going to be armor in this game. Weapons, obviously. Um, Bro, there's so much stuff that this game has. All current magics, acid magic, water magic, ink magic, fire magic, earth magic, ice magic, lightning magic, magma magic, wood magic, light magic, wind magic, shadow magic, iron magic, paper magic, poison magic, gold magic. Bro, there's so many freaking magics, boys. But you can see, this is all the types of magics that you're going to be able to pick from. Damn, that's a lot of content right there. Alright, boys, I'm on my alt account. Hop on the game. Bruh, I forgot these different files. I could have just simply made a new character on my Bruh. main account. But yeah, let's just hop on, bro. Enough of me complaining. Alright. Uh, so, I'm level 0 on this account. Not 0, 1. So, you'll spawn in a town. And in this town, boys... Oh, before you do anything, read the tutorial. The tutorial is going to pop up for you guys if you're new to the game. If you're, like, fresh to this game and, the first, and it's your first time hopping on this game. The tutorial... The I can't even speak. The tutorial is going to pop up. And I highly suggest you go over the tutorial. For me, in this case, I don't need to go over it because I already went over it two months ago. And I already know how the game functions, like all the controls for it. But you know what? You know what? Let's just go over it in this video, boys. So, so for those of you who don't know how this game functions, hopefully after this tutorial, you'll know how this game functions. But yeah, with that being said, let's start going over the tutorial. So moving around works as normal using the WASD keys and jumping using spacebar. All right. So you move with W A S D. All right, you jump a space bar. Simple, simple. You can move faster by sprinting which key. So press the control button on your keyboard, and that would allow you to run. Keep in mind when you run, your stamina decreases. If you have no stamina, you're not gonna be able to run. Um, yeah, your stamina automatically recharges once you stop using it. So if you're not running or doing something that uses up the stamina, if you stop doing that and you're not doing it at all, your stamina automatically regens goes up and and honestly it doesn't take that long but yeah uh next up is high jumping you can press t to perform a high jump or hold and release it to jump even higher let's try it out all right all right so press t and then jump okay okay so if you guys are going around the map and you gotta 
make a high jump in order to to go over a certain spot or to go somewhere just hold T boys and space bar simple boys simple all right now let's try blocking you can block by holding g which reduces all incoming damages by 40 percent or reduces it by 90 percent if you time a block perfectly give it a try out okay oh that's cool bruh all right so g to block all right simple so g to block control to run and t space bar to jump to jump normally just press space bar so this is your experience bar which indicates how close you are to leveling up all right right here this bar they're talking about the experience bar um to earn xp you could defeat enemies or complete quests all right i'll be telling you guys where to get the quest from how to get quests all that good stuff in this video so don't worry about that there's your current reputation which affects how certain NPCs interact with you depending on your actions all right so reputation is gonna be a very important feature in this game and i'm gonna be going over it. all right boys this is your stamina bar stamina is used for running swimming and other physical actions it automatically replenishes and your maximum stamina increases every time you level up all right good to know good to know all right this is your magic energy bar magic energy bar is used to cast spells and similar stamina its maximum increases when you level up all right all right all right this is your hell bomb okay this is your current level which is okay we don't need to go over these these are simple you know information that everybody should know by now star wizard this is your wizard ranking ranking automatically increases uh the more you level up and they're bruh, 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 disappeared all right these are crowns of currency used all around the world they can be used to buy things such as weapons and armor and can be earned by completing quests bruh. now that we've covered the ui let's move on to spell creation all right, first open up the menu. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, boys. You can make your own spell in this game. Let's go. That's one of my favorite features in this game. No cap. All right, first open up my menu. This is the menu, boys. This is the menu, main menu. Open it up. Now select magic. All righty. Now select acid magic. Okay, okay. Now press the create button on any slot. All right. Now select blast attack. Now this is the spell creation UI. The options here are relative to this to the spell type you chose and some of them affect how the spell looks when when used all right all right all right all right let's let's create my uh, let's create my own skill again keep in mind i already created my own skill on my main account but, but this is my art and yeah let's start working on my skill boys all right um keep in mind you don't have to make your skill exactly like mine you can make your skill however you want it to function and look but yeah uh, um blast size i want the blast size to be pretty big why not Explosion size. I want the I want the explosion size to be big as well. Uh, two hands. Yeah, two hands. Yes, I want it to be casted. Two hands. Adjective. I don't know what this is, bro. Absolute. I'm just gonna pick amazing. I don't know what this is. The name of the spell. My fault. I think this is the name of the spell. Yeah, yeah. The name of the spell, bro. Amazing acid blast. All right, all right, all right. Acid magic. Acid magic. Amazing blast. So cool. Not only could you edit the the actual move, you could also edit the name for it. All right. Uh. Ambush, no, 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 just leave it at blast, blast, all right, create, let's go, baby, let's go, okay, you just created your first spell, now, um, so, boys, that's how you create your spell, simple, you basically go to your menu, click magic, right, click your magic that you want to create, and then click create on any tab, for example, in this case, I clicked the Q tab, I created my own skill, which I ended up naming acid magic amazing blast, and yeah, we're about to go over the skill right now, so, I'm gonna equip, my my uh, magic you feel me my move is gonna pop up right here in the bottom right acid magic amazing blast q to activate it uh remember how i selected two hands into in order to activate it if you would have selected one hand the character would have used one hand to activate the move instead of two that's the spell for you guys use the spell three times i got you all right this is the spell pretty cool pretty cool not bad keep in mind i got acid you might have another magic that might operate differently that's what's good about this game. There's so many content. Not everyone's gonna have the same magic, the same, you know. They're not gonna have the same type of journey and same type of things, bro. Everyone's gonna have their own type of journey and their own experience. You feel me? Their own moves and all that good stuff. Your magic energy has decreased from using your spell. To restore it, simply press and hold left shift. Give it a try. All right, so to uh, regain your magic energy, so just hold shift. That's simple, boys, right? Simple. All right, well done. 
you could unlock new spells types through leveling up or completing quests. Alright, so the more you level up, the more uh the more spells you can make. Not I mean actually scratch that, scratch that. I mean yeah, yeah, actually yeah, yeah. The more you level up, the more spells you can make. But keep in mind if I wanted to, I could keep making as much moves as I want. But let's say if I was a higher level, I would have been able to, you know, select more options like the explosion type move, the high jump type move, all that good stuff. You feel me? Instead of selecting the blast attack and recreating it over and over and making it, you know, operate differently. That's what's good about leveling up. You'll have more options, you know, select from when creating your own um, attack. And yeah. Look around for a green circle and head towards it. When you reach it, talk to NBC and accept. So, what can I do for you? Uh, need something? Yes. Well, I can't find my hag. Okay, so that's a quest right there. That's how you do quests. Pretty simple. You go to the NBC, interact with them, accept the quest, and boom, you have the quest. Now, time to go complete it. Simple. You might get a simple quest or you might get a hard quest. There's so many types of quests. I consider this a simple quest because all you have to do is literally go get something and bring it back to the NBC. A hard quest is a quest where you have to go fight an NBC. I consider or view those quests as hard quests. But yeah, there's going to be all kind of quests you're going to be getting. But if you end up getting a lot of these quests where you just have to go get something for the NBC, then you're lucky, boys. You're pretty lucky. But uh, um, yeah, boys, well done. You completed the quest and got some XP and crowns. Keep in mind, the quests are the primary source of XP in the world of magic. So keep your eyes peeled for the NBCs that have quests. All right, that's the end of the tutorial. All right, perfect. All right, now my turn to provide you the information that I got the, or that I learned from this game. All right, so the so this village is in this map, right? The villages usually consist of the most NBCs in quest. So once you're in a village, you can go up to any NBC you want. For example, he has a question mark. If you want to get a quest from him, feel free to. If you don't end up liking his quest, you could always go around the village and find another quest. You could find quests from NBCs that are in buildings or outside, anywhere, boys. And there's something called reputation. There's also a reputation in this in this in this game, a reputation system. If if your reputation is bad, then NBCs will most likely attack you. And like, let's say you go up to an NBC with a question mark and you have a bad reputation, instead of you being able to interact with the NBC, he would most likely end up viewing you as an enemy. Like a normal NBC, boys, not a player, a normal NBC. He would most likely view as view you as an enemy and then start attacking you. And then once he starts attacking you, boys, you won't be able to get quests from him. And that's what's bad about having a bad reputation. For the for those of you who are curious on how to get rid of a bad reputation, you just gotta go to jail and spend a little bit of time in jail. And then once you get out, your your reputation is gonna go back to normal. You could also get a good reputation, which I highly suggest you guys do. Um with a good reputation you could still quest you know you won't have a hard time questing not a lot of people are going to be after you but trust me if you have a bad reputation there's a lot of NBCs in the map and every time you run into them or go near them they're gonna be they're gonna most likely attack you boys until they kill you or send you to jail all right with that being said let me complete this quest so that's simple boys so to get quests just you know go around the map and find villages like this this is not the only village in the map why can't I interact with this NBC, bruh? Oh, there's a level 27 quest, my dumbass. Alright, um... But yeah, boys, uh... That's simple, boys. Just go around the map, find NBCs with quests. In this case, I just found this guy. Click chat with him, you feel me? Need something? Yes, I want a quest. Alright, except now I'm gonna go complete the quest. That's simple, boys. Um, to keep your reputation good, don't... I forgot how uh, how you mess up your reputation. I think you kill online players. That's how you get bad. Guys, you could break buildings. You can actually destroy buildings, which will automatically give you a bad reputation. So check this out. Bruh, I don't have lightning. On oh, my main, I have lightning. I'm going to have to show you the future where you're going to be able to break buildings on my main because this magic that I currently have on my ult is not able to break buildings. It's, it's literally doo-doo. It's doo-doo. All right, with that being said, let's go complete the quest. All right, so... Got the quest. Once you get a quest, you're gonna see a green dot like this. Just go do it. You feel me? All right. So in this case, I'll have to fight this guy. Uh, defeat Dark Wizard. So let me defeat him. <laughs> Yo, try, try to dodge their moves because they do a good amount of damage. I remember playing this two months ago. This game in the testing phase, and I remember I tried my hardest to dodge moves from NBCs because. Their moves do a good amount of damage. NBCs don't play around in this game, boys. That's what I fear the most. More than online players. Like, most games, I usually fear online players. But in this game, boys, you're going to be fearing the NBCs, boys. They're going to be the ones that are going to be giving you a headache. 
especially if you have a bad reputation. I'm telling you. All right, shift to um to build to increase your magic energy. Keep that in mind. So if you're not able to cast your spell, simply hold shift. Bro, I'm about to die. This NBC is literally destroying me right now, boys. Yo, that almost hit me. No, you got me, bro. Y'all see my health? Yo, these NBCs are pretty hard. No cap, bro. No cap. Oh, uh, keep in mind. One thing about uh, one thing I like about this game is if you attack an NBC and he ends up killing you and you end up going back to him, his health stays the same. He doesn't get his health back. That's what I like about it. Instead of you know, I hate the games where like if you die and you go back, the NBC automatically regains re yeah regains his health and like you have to fight him from start, bro, with a full health. I hate those kind of games, bro. Bro, every time I cast my spell, this kid jumps, bro. Alright, finally, I killed them, leveled up that easy, boy. So, it's not that hard to level up on this game, as you guys can see. Just go around villages or the map, look for NPCs that have, um, question marks. And like I said previously in this video, places in the map that are going to most likely have a lot of NPCs and not a lot of NPCs with quests are villages. For example, the village I just came from, as you can see, has a lot of NPCs, boys, and, and quests. So, if you're not having luck finding quests out in, in, uh, you know, in the map when you're out in the map having an adventure, then go to a village, boys. Go to a village like this, and I promise you, boys, it won't be that hard for you to be able to find quests. Alright, I'm gonna go return my quest. Get my reward. Simple, boys. Simple. I leveled up again. I'm level 5. It's, it's not that hard. I'm telling you guys, it's not that hard to get XP, money, and level in this game. It's not. It's really not. Alright, so... Hopefully this video helped you guys. Hopefully this video answered your questions on how to level up on this game, or how this game functions, what rep excuse me, what reputation is, um, how to make a custom move, and yeah, if I didn't cover something in this game and you have a question that I didn't answer in this video, please let me know in the comment section below, and hopefully I'll end up replying to you and answering your question. If not, hopefully another fan is gonna end up helping you out in the comment section below. So if you're still confused, feel free to drop your question in the comment section below. I'll end up replying. If I don't end up replying. And someone else is going to end up replying and helping you. With that being said, Brad, someone just killed me. That's a big L. But yeah, with that being said, hopefully this video helped. This has been your brother, Salman21. Peace out.